All right, guys, this is a rare occasion, a rare Sunday morning where I don't have to go deliver packages, which is awesome, not only for the fact that I don't have to go into work, but it is also raining, which can be a bit of a downer when you're having to get out at a bunch of houses and deliver packages. But I don't have to worry about the, that this morning. But I'm also awake. I wanted to try to sleep in, but you know, circadian rhythm kind of kicks in, right? You're just used to waking up at a certain time and it's just like, oh well, let's just wake up and be productive. So that's what I'm gonna try to do here. And this is going to be my sort of September slash beginning October uh, book haul. <laughs> Long and stupid title, of course. This is gonna be a very low maintenance video for me. Very little editing. I'm just gonna show y'all all of the books that I have acquired. And my cat won't, start, won't stop meowing. Hey, kitty. Yeah, you're okay, yeah. All right, I'm gonna just show y'all all the books that I've acquired in September and then a little bit in October. I've got it, I've got it separated, not necessarily by genre or by the dates that I've bought them, but where I acquired them from. So let's just go ahead and start with uh, Amazon, which is what I usually do on Sundays anyway, so that's fitting. Uh, I love Taylor Jenkins' read. I've read four of her books and I've given them all five stars and I'm hoping that this one is good as well. Uh, we'll see. I'm not, I'm not actually not sure what the, uh, the premise is, so maybe I'll just jump into that blind one day. It's obviously like a contemporary romance, but which might surprise some people because, you know, I'm a huge fantasy fan. I love horror and sci-fi. So reading Taylor Jenkins Reid is kind of, you know, a little weird, but you know, she she does such great character work and just, I, I love her writing style. And then I got a couple of uh, Stephen Graham Jones books. These are two of his novellas and I bought them basically without knowing what they're about necessarily, but you know, they're very short and probably very easy to get through. Um, I'm sure Evie, I don't, I, I don't know if Evie has read any of, any of these or either of these. Let me know down in the comments, Evie, if you've read either of them. I'm sure if you haven't, you're going to be doing some sort of read-along for them eventually. But uh, yeah, I'm very excited to get to those whenever I do that. And um, the Wolf of Orin Yarrow. I first heard about this book on Elliot Brooks's channel. And, you know, when I heard the premise, I was kind of intrigued by it. But when I saw it, that the um, title of the series was Chronicles of the Bitch Queen, that, that's what sold me. I'm like, what? That's an awesome title. So, yeah. Uh, Elliot Brooks's recommendation plus Bitch Queen <laughs> has sold me. I uh, don't know when I'll probably get to it. Probably early next year, but yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, same thing with Black Sun. I've heard many, many, many great things about this book from several booktubers, fantasy booktubers. And it's just, it sounds right up my alley because a lot of the times with fantasy, you kind of get kind of the same tropes and it's kind of the same kind of stories, but this one sounds just very unique and off the wall and just different. So I think I'm going to really enjoy that. Speaking of Evie, this is one of her all-time favorite fantasy books and fantasy series, The Bear and the Nightingale. And um, what's, the, what's this? Oh yeah, the Winter Night Trilogy. That's what it's called. I'm going to be reading all of these. She has a read-along going from December, January, and February. So I'll be reading this in December. And then the, the Mask of Mirrors, this will probably make a lot of people happy. Uh, picked up a copy and I, I will be reading this uh, next month in November. So also very excited 
It's also really chunky. Like, I didn't expect this book to be so chunky, but yeah, I, th I think I'll have a good time with that book. Also, I'm just now realizing that these books I did not get off of Amazon. <laughs> it is, it is early, y'all. It's early in the morning. I got all of these books actually at Barnes & Noble. So, shout out to Barnes & Noble? <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, not Amazon, Barnes & Noble. And then I got some books off of Thrift Books. And one of them is a Ray Bradbury book, which is Two Novellas. Now, I've read this before, but it was on Kindle. And I, I, I didn't love it. But I'm wondering if reading it off of Kindle made me not like it as much. Because I much, I much prefer reading physically, so maybe having the paperback copy will be a better experience. Because I love Ray Bradbury most of the time. Also, I got the first two books in the Green Rider series, which I think I'm going to be reading the first book in January. There should be a read-along for it, and I'm very excited to get into that. I've heard a lot of great things from a lot of great people. And then I picked up two Robert Jackson Bennett books, and he's the author of the Divine Cities trilogy and Foundry Side. So he's mainly known for his fantasy, but before that he wrote some, I think, horror slash thriller books. So I picked up two Robert Jackson Bennett books, and that's an interesting quote like a collaboration between Stephen King and John Steinbeck. Huh. All right, well, I have no idea what these books are about, but I will get to them at some point in the future. Also, from Joanna's recommendation, I picked up a paperback copy of The Child Thief. I had already gotten... She, she had recommended the book to me, and I picked up the audiobook because it's narrated by Kirby Hayborn, who's my all-time favorite audiobook narrator. And the other day I was like going through my mail and this was in, I had I had a book from Thrift Books. And I was like, I don't remember ordering anything, but apparently I ordered this probably late one night without even remembering. And yeah, I have a paperback copy, which is very cool because the um, author is also, is also an artist. So there's like random, illustrations throughout the book so that'll be very fun to look at and I will be reading this in October so that'll be fun also I got a random George R. R. Martin book he's my favorite author and this is and this is interesting because it's you know it's quartet it's four kind of like random novellas that he's written let me see if I can get the table of contents so black and white and red all over is Sort of a novel that he started back in the 80s or 90s about, like, it's, I think it's supposed to be, like, historical fiction of Jack the Ripper. Um, I've never read it, so that'll be interesting. Skin Trade, I have read. That's sort of his werewolf novella. That one was pretty good. Starport, I have the graphic novel of, but I've never read the, um, I guess it's a novella, so yeah, I've never read that. And then Blood of the Dragon is actually all of the Danny chapters from Game of Thrones combined into a novella. So that, that actually might be an interesting read, just to read all of her chapters in a row. I've never done that before, so that might make for an interesting read. So, yep. Uh, George R., that, that glare is awful. <laughs> There we go. So yeah, Quartet by George R. R. Martin. I'm also gonna sit down now. Uh, like I said, it is early in the morning for me. All right, and these books I got from my local used bookstore. Um, I was surprised to find this, uh, A Plague of Giants. And I've heard great things about it from Leslie from The Nerdy Narrative. She liked this, I think Andrew from Andrew's Wizardly Reads. Did you read this, Andrew? I don't know. I, I don't remember. Like I said, it is early. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm pretty excited to read that. And then I found this, which intrigued me, which it's a novelization of The Nice Guys, which is a movie that I remember seeing a few years ago that was pretty good. So 
it'll be interesting to see if the book's any good. And then this uh, caught my eye, obviously. 12 Drummers Drumming. I think this is supposed to be a murder mystery that's set during Christmas time. And it revolves about around this town that has this like big drum and it's supposed to be kind of like a tradition. But like one day, you know, it's found that like the drum is like ripped open and a, there's like a body inside. I think that's the premise. Um, but yeah, 12 Drummers Drumming is very fitting book title for moi. So that'll, maybe I'll read that during Christmas. I don't know. And then Ted Zhang, uh, Arrival. This is one of my all-time favorite movies, and I had no idea that it was actually a book, or I think this might be a short story collection. Uh, I'm not quite sure, but um, it'll be interesting to see what the source material for the movie is like. And a lot of the times when I watch like a really great movie that I love and I go back and read the source material, a lot of the times I find that I enjoy the movie more. That happened to me with a few Stephen King uh, uh, books, like The Shawshank Redemption. I actually prefer the movie version. So it'll be interesting to see how it compares. And, oh, this isn't, um, I got this from Book of the Month, yeah. Uh, the Perishing by Natasha Dion. Um, it's a really cool cover. And I couldn't tell you a thing about this book. <laughs> the only reason I picked it was because book of the month for October was Slim Pickens. And everything else just seemed not too great. So I just picked this out on a whim. I have no idea when I'll get to it. I have no idea if I'll ever get to it. But for now, I can sort of just appreciate the pretty cover. I also got these two books from Second and Charles, uh, Gingerbread by Helen Oyayemi. And I've read one of her previous books, um, Mr. Fox. And that was such a weird book. It was, it, it was sort of a novel, but it was also sort of a short story collection. And just the premise of it was very strange in her. And I think she's more of like a literary author, so... I'm assuming this book is going to be very similar to that, where it's got kind of a weird premise and just and a, just a weird and off-the-beat writing style. So I'm sure this will be a weird read. How many times can I say the word weird? And then Jazz, you like Jazz, <laughs> by Toni Morrison. Toni Morrison is supposed to be one of the best authors uh, of all time, really, and I've never read anything by her, and jazz, um, I, I like jazz, so, and I'll be honest, I have no idea what this book is about, I just know that Toni Morrison is supposed to be a fantastic novelist, so I'm just gonna jump into this blind, and we'll see what it's all about at some point in the future. I have no idea when I'm gonna read most of these books, besides, like, uh, the Child Thief, and then a couple other books. Um, I have no idea. <laughs> These are the two Amazon books. I got Zombie Sharks with Metal Teeth by Stephen Graham Jones. This is one of his short story collections, and I found it on Amazon one day, and there was only a couple copies left, so I snagged it. And I have no idea when I'll get to it, but I'm sure I will read it at some point in the near future. And then I got Layla by Colleen Hoover. Now she's interesting because I think she's written a lot of contemporary romance, if I remember. But last year I read a book by her called Verity, which was sort of a um, dark romantic thriller. And I got it for my birthday. And I wasn't quite sure if I would enjoy it or not, but I ended up loving the book. So if this book is anything like Verity, I know I'm going to like it. So when am I going to read that? I have no idea, but also very excited to eventually get to that. Speaking of Ted Zhang and speaking of Evie from She Was Only Evie, she saw that I had a hardback copy of Exhalation and how much that I despise 
Deckled Edges. So we're gonna do a thing where she sent me a paperback copy and I'm gonna go send her the hardback copy because um, I don't like hardcovers to begin with, especially, especially Deckled Edges. But she was kind enough to send me this, so I'm going to send her the hardback copy. And yeah, this not, the cover is beautiful, and I'm I'm just very excited to get to this in December because I I love short stories and particularly sci-fi short stories. Like I love Ray Bradbury, and I know this is supposed to be more of like a modern sci-fi collection. So I'm very interested to see what sort of weird directions that. Ted Zhang will go into. And then last, but certainly not least, The Dark That Dwells, which was kindly sent to me by Patrick, aka Daddy Starfish, <laughs> over on Andrew's Wizardly Reads, his Discord server. And I won this book because I won the Guess the Book Challenge, which they've been doing and basically every week they put up um, books and they put up like very vague and random descriptions of the books and you have to guess the title of the book. And when it first started out, it was relatively easy. I was able to guess a lot of them, but then it just got progressively harder and I remember one one week I was just like, what is this book? I cannot figure it out. And it was The Legend of Sleepy Hollow. And like looking back at all the clues, it all made sense. But they spun uh, a wheel, like a random wheel online. And my name popped up and I won. And Patrick asked me what book he could get me. And I just told him to go on my wish list and just pick out a random book. And this is the book that he picked. And I'm very glad because I, I was already going to read this in December. And now I have the paperback copy. So thank you again, Patrick, a.k.a. Daddy Starfish. All right. Those are all of the books that I have acquired in the past month and a half or so. Um, I'm very tired. <laughs> but yeah. Uh, let me know if any of these books... Uh, intrigue y'all and, and let me know if you've read any of these books and what you thought of them. Let me know if there's any books in this pile that you would want me to prioritize for next year. I've, I've sort of got the rest of this year planned out. So some of these books will probably have to wait until next year. But let me know if you're interested in me reading any of these. And like I said, if you've read any of them, let me know what you thought down below. And of course, if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for watching and have a terrific day.